this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful card using the wonderful new wreath die set from the John Next Door 2022 Christmas collection. Just to give you an idea, this is not what we're making. This is another card that's been made using the same set. This time we're going to do one just in a beautiful sort of greens. Um, so different shades of green. So to start with, I'm going to use the outer frame and the die set's been designed with an outer frame. Then it has a piece that will cut out either a mat for that frame or it will cut out the wreath section with a centre. So there's lots of different options you can do with this. You can sort of keep going down or up, build a whole wreath, a section of a wreath, all, do, all sorts of different pieces. So we're going to start with the frame and I've already cut a piece of apple green crafts to essential card and I've cut this to five and three quarters by five and three quarters and I'm simply going to place the die into place tape it down I tend to tape it in the center as the center is more of your waist piece that will fall away and that way you're not marking any of your outside card and we simply place that again it will fit through your A5 machine and we'll run it through the standard die cutting machine there is a lot of detail here so I'm going to go forward and back and then just check your die because if any of these sections haven't cut, you may want to rotate it to get them to cut. However, it has on this occasion, because I'm using the Collider, so I'm using a good machine. And you can see, you get this beautiful trailing ivy all the way around. And this has a matching die pair. So this is a pair of matching dies, should I say. And this matches exactly with the Sam's Bells, which has a slightly more circular open frame around it so they can tie together and match together but we've got that cut beautifully in the light green what i would then do is to cut it again in this darker green in this field green so i've got two pieces and it creates the most beautiful offset so if you can see here i've got it cut in field and again cut in apple so if i just slightly offset it you see Get that beautiful edge all the way around it or if you rotate it by 45 degrees it completely offsets so you get a com you get a more full picture with different ivy behind so there's two options you can do with that for this one i'm just going to offset it so i'm just going to take a little bit pop it in my spray box take my spray glue and give that a good coating of spray glue i'm using craft mount by 3m which gives me plenty of time just to offset it. We can see there, I've got that beautiful little darker green edge. And when we pop that on a piece of white, you really see the shine. So what I've done now is I've taken a piece of white. So this is coconut white, Crafts 2 Essential card. And I'm going to lay the die onto that to give me a guide. And I'm simply going to use from the die set, none of the inside or the outside lines, just the wreath. And I'm going to move that round until I'm happy that I've got it nice and centralised. And then we're going to tape that down. And we're going to cut that. So I would run that through my die cutting machine. And I've done that already so you can see here what we get and you get that beautiful wreath made purely of ivy no lines no connectors at all just all the way through this makes an absolutely beautiful template so we'll move those to one side what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take a piece of the field card and i've added the john next door double-sided adhesive sheets over the top of that and i'm just going to now reveal the adhesive so what i've got now is a piece of field green card that is sticky and just place my wreath over the top you see as it starts to build up but it's Christmas so we want a little bit of sparkle so I'm going to use the glitter mister and this has got the craft artist laser glitter in white inside this is fabulous on really dark card it's white on sort of light, lighter or darker cards it's actually clear 
And this is a fab way of adding just a little bit of glitter. So I'm just spraying this on over, smooth it down, and then we'll just take a brush and brush off the excess. But you use and waste a lot less glitter doing this and you get a beautiful, beautiful glittery effect. So there we've got our really nice glittery, shiny wreath in the middle. So what I've done already is I've taken some more of the white. And again, I've gone with this darker shade of the field. And I've made myself using the press cut plane and stitch dot squares a frame. So I'm simply going to reveal the adhesive. I've put double sided tape all the way around the aperture and I've sized this to fit the frame perfectly. So I can then pop that over and capture that. And that way your ivy is floating inside your frame. So I'm gonna turn that back over, grab some of my foam tape. I'm using two millimeter foam tape as I find that's just the right depth, not to make it too deep. And just make sure as I'm going round that I'm avoiding going over the areas that show on the front. This is why the frame helps because you don't have to be quite so neat. So going round all four sides, just like that. And then again, we're going to reveal our tape to get our adhesive showing. And take our piece we've made, and then you can beautifully frame it. So we've got that absolutely beautiful wreath in the center. And then what I've done is using the sentiment that comes in the set, which is the season's greetings, I've cut this in the apple, the field, and the white. And using spray glue, I would just gently offset those to give me just like that there. So we've got them offset, so it's just that little bit thicker and it really works. So a quick squirt of spray glue on that. And we're going to pop that in the middle. We have our card here and all I'm going to do is add this Bow on the end, just made with a little bit of jade ribbon and the beautiful craft artist bells. These come in four colours mixed and three sizes. And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, pin flag glue gel just so that I get that nicely secured on. And we put our bow there. And then we could simply add that to a larger card blank. So you can use something like a standard eight by eight, which is what I've got here. And we just add that on. And there we've got a beautiful Christmas card, all made saying the season's greetings with that slightly subtle glittered wreath in there. Mm -hmm.